I'm Shireen, and today we're going to make a one of my favorites. I've been so hooked on it, Yorkshire pudding. So it's basically an English staple made in England that uh, typically comes from the rendered drippings of beet served with gravy. It's heaven. So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to make it really simple for you. We're going to start with flour. We're going to add some milk. So flour, milk, and eggs. Pinch of salt. That's it. That's your batters. I call these an unsweetened donut. They're like a deep fried unsweetened donut. Pudding, I don't know why they're called pudding. So we have three eggs. So we're just going to slowly whisk in all three. And then we're going to let our batter sit and rest. So while our batter is resting, so I have a little bit of the chicken fat that rendered off of making a roasted chicken. Although I know this isn't traditional, but I like to use the fat rendered from the chicken. This is going to add so much flavor when we make our Yorkshire pudding. So just a little bit into each. I'm using a popover pan. You could use a regular cast iron skillet. You could use a muffin pan. And then here's, here's this. Actually, this isn't my trick. I have to be honest. I'm stealing this from my girlfriend, Jeanette. She adds a little bit of shortening. And this is going to make the outside of the Yorkshire pudding so crispy and absolutely amazing. It gives it that deep fried flavor. We're gonna put it into a super hot oven. And then, just for five minutes, just like this, there's no batter in it yet. We want it to smoke just a little bit slightly. Then we're gonna pop our batter in. So five minutes. It's smoking. So we fill them up halfway with our batter and then back into the oven until they're nice and tender on the inside and crispy on the outside. All right, our Yorkshire puddings are huge. <laughs> Wait until you see how big. <laughs> how awesome are they? All right, we gotta go taste them. So Yorkshire puddings are out of the oven and they will deflate just a little bit when we bring them out to room temperature. So you could serve this traditionally like the Brits do with a roast beef and then drizzle tons of gravy over them. It's such comfort food and it's so good. So I'm going to taste them without the meal. But they're so sort of gooey and soft, but sort of firm, like an egg custard on the inside. Mmm, they're hot. They're, they're flawlessly good. I mean, you have to try these. My only problem is I keep making them all the time. I keep eating them. These are so good. For the recipe, go to my website, tweetneats.com, and don't forget to comment in the comment box below. Ciao. So good. Let's go. Make no excuses now. I'm talking here.